Richie, huge win over Iowa State, man. What did it mean to get that win and now you have a two-game win streak? You know, it felt really, really good. Um, I felt like it was going into the game. We had some people out. Uh, we knew it was going to be all hands on deck. And I don't know, just to come together and be able to do what we did was, it was, it was huge for us. Felt like the biggest win of the year. Uh, top 10 in net, ranked opponent. And TJ Otzelberger, the Iowa State head coach, said that the tempo of BYU gave them problems, and that's epitomized by this first play where you find Jackson, he finds Spencer. Yeah, no, I love how much we just, we're running. Like, Jax, once somebody secures it, we're all running. Um, I just want to point out, um, look at Jax get the two feet right here. Like, that's one thing we stress a lot. That's just like, as a key thing, because a lot of times I feel like you would try to force up this tough shot, but you had, you had three guys on him. Um, came to two feet, found Spence in the corner, which was, Spence was freaking amazing. <laughs> Best game I think he's played at BYU. <laughs> yeah, like, it, was, it was like the quick, like the sneaky, 28 or whatever he had, you know, like it's it's awesome. It's fun to play with him. Okay, you got an incredible rebound here. You tell me whether it's over the back or not. I They didn't call it, so I don't know. But uh, you kind of get this one-handed rebound on the dude's head. Yeah, let's watch this thing. I literally, <laughs> during the game, I was like, I don't know how I didn't get called for it. But sometimes <laughs> you got to work hard to be lucky. When, when you're grabbing that board, are you expecting a whistle? Or are you just like, I'm just getting this ball? Let's keep playing until we go, right? Yeah. Like, clearly, like, if, you, if I would have stopped, then... I wouldn't have been able to get to the free throw line. And yeah, no, we talk so much about, we call it wedging, where you're trying mm -hmm. to just wedge the person on the basket, stay on the high side. And a lot of times you don't get it when you go, but you're destined to get a few. And you guys have, you guys have been one of the best rebounding teams in the country. Okay, in the second half, things are getting away from Iowa State here. Perhaps some frustration at the game, at you. I don't know what happened with Hassan Ward uh -oh. and this flagrant two here. Yeah, I, so get this, the first free throw Noah shoots, I like, I love this right little hash right there during this. Um, I gave him a big jab and looking for my over the top and he bit on it. And so I look back at the bench and I'm like, watch this, like this is about to be good because he just, he bit so hard Did on my jab. Did you say that loud? My jab. I know I looked back like, and it just out. like, just watch this. And he didn't like boom! it. Boom! <laughs> he did not like it. But watch the refs and coach poke over in here. Like we're all fine, but coach is like. <laughs> 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 he turned and and uh, was like, I want to make sure nothing happens here. Yeah. Some new rules there, the, the whole bench, they're trying to keep everybody out of the way, but no, totally. he just, uh, he didn't like it. He didn't like you or said, I don't know. Yeah, it that was, was a weird moment. Yeah, no, it was, um, I don't feel like it was needed. I mean, my body is in a little bit of recovery stages from this, but. In um, the neck? It's funny, cause like everybody was talking about how it hit my neck and my head, but I just feel it in my ribs. Well, it ended up being a flagrant too, and after that, it kind of felt like it was over, but. This and one with about four minutes left kind of put the nail in the coffin, in, at least in my mind. What did it feel like to have this play at that juncture and kind of feel like, okay, we did it? Yeah, um, I feel like no matter if there's two minutes left, 30 seconds left, we got to keep going freaking hard. Um, and Noah was patient in the corner. Spence came to the ball like he needed to. And luckily for me, my guy fell asleep for a sec. But, um, you know, that's why I love playing with these dudes is I feel like we just we're trying to play for each other, and there's, Spence could have totally just taken his little um, little Dirk Nowitzki fadeaway in, like, in for that a 30 situation. Piece. Yeah, like literally. But he's unselfish. But he yeah. dished me that. Um, and I love Downs hype after that, and Jax is like, everybody soaks out for each other, which I, I think is super fun. Okay, another big one, uh, this time in West Texas in Lubbock against Texas Tech. What will it take to get a uh, third Big 12 win here? Same as it always does. You know, we gotta do what we do. Um, crash, shoot open shots, play for each other, defend well. Like, we have to do that, but do it better. Um, there's clearly, like, every single game we're gonna play this for the remainder of the season is gonna be to the nail. It's gonna be intense. Um, and so, you know, we just gotta really do what we do and um, play, as a, play as a team. And it's, it's gonna be a really fun one. Okay, Richie, thanks for the time, Thank man. You.